have advised the senior superintendent of police also, who have also deeply uh, supervised the case. So, that's right. Yeah. Can we have the police status? Yes, please. Yes. Have you flagged from where you have uh, from where you have proceeded on the premise that nobody is to be found? Come in front. Not exactly, sir, but whatever attempts we have done to find out the culprits, sir, we have have not each one of them, sir. Could so, you get the names of those persons? Sir, no, sir. We examined almost uh, uh, 90 females, sir, whose stay had overlapped with that of the victim, sir. And we took all of their statements and got them recorded under 164. And in that, sir... Yes, sir that you have said. Sir. And therefore, you have charge sheeted only one person, the superintendent who was overall in charge. Yes, sir. The one who had kept on emerging was that of Vandana Gupta. And hence, that is why, sir... You don't have to take the name. Sir, we uh, accused, sir, the superintendent. Even then. Sir, sorry, sir. So, um, so on the basis of that only, sir, we uh, charge sheeted her because the victim statement, sir, that only found corroboration in statement of three other uh, residents of the Gaiga shed. Why, why we are, uh, you know, skeptical about the investigation having been conducted properly? We are not passing any comment. This is just the tentative opinion of the court. Don't get disheartened. Uh, both of you. Now, we find that it was a very, very big offence, gender-related offence, especially especially against hapless women who were lost in that uh, aftercare home or whatever. Mr. Advocate Judge, yeah. please take this. Now, the person who gave the interview, which actually kick-start all this uh, debate, uh, she is not the only person who is the victim, right? So there would be many others. Uh, how many of them have been interviewed by you, interrogated by you? What information did you call out? And uh, did you ask for any special, uh, did you put the superintendent to a special interrogatories? But we don't get satisfied. The occurrence has taken place in the capital under the nose of the High Court. And up till, up till now you have been able to uh, point towards any finger towards only one? Uh, sir, if and to tell you a fact, she being a lady, we find that she could only have been a facilitator. Sir. That's right. Sir. So she has facilitated whom? So therefore, we find that uh, this investigation is absolutely lopsided. We don't know. We have not seen the papers. Sir. Uh, you do one thing. Sir. You have submitted the charge sheet. Yes, sir. There are two FIRs and one charge sheet has been submitted for 17 criminals. Yes, sir. You will give two copies. One, I mean, we can always have a copy. You can, you can give a copy. We will go through the, this. Uh, we find that there is something lacking in your effort. Uh, What's yes. yours? Investigating agents. Sir, sir, if I may just uh, elucidate everything that we have done so far, sir. So we took the. Are you satisfied? Sir, with this kind of allegation, with this, with this large spectrum of the, of the, of the, uh, you know, victims, are you satisfied that only one person you could uh, lay your hands upon? We are not, we are not asking you to frame others who are not there. Sir, we are not asking you to do that. Sir. We are even not asking you to expand the scope of investigation. Sir. Not at all. Yes, but if you, as an investigator, as the head of the investigating team, mm -hmm. age member team, if you are satisfied that all this happened only because of the facilitator and nobody. And nobody could get uh, any access to the to the uh, home and could meet the girls. Then we are we uh, then uh, I don't think we we are on the same page. Sir, sir, so far what we have done to uh, get to those culprits, sir, if at all something like this had happened, mm -hmm. so we took the FSL team to examine the entire premises. Why am Why are cutting you short? Sir. Now these processes are known. Sir, you will take uh, you will have FSL report. You will you will ask for you will uh, take cust I mean, uh, you will take a person you will request for custodial remand and whatever. Sir, we know that process. Sir, we are only asking you about your satisfaction that this kind of an occurrence has taken place and this is not a new one. Sir, 
and you could not, uh, I mean, you don't have a clue who were part of it. I mean, just that. Sir, whatever, sir, whatever processes we had followed, we did everything, sir. In fact, sir, our sole basis of everything that has happened so far are the statements of those two victims, sir. Now, one of these victims, sir, gets released from aftercare home, sir, the, uh, the, the, the victim of FIR, uh, 1322, sir, she gets uh, released from the aftercare home on 5 May 2021. And after one and a half years, sir, she alleges these complaints. And uh, the, FIR accu uh, the, the FIR of 1321 does not hint at any sexual exploitation. Okay, sir. And secondly, don't, please don't uh, proceed on those lines. Sir. I'll advise you, don't proceed on those lines. Sir. The very tenor of your explanation says, Yes, that you are not believing the accusation. If that be so, then the no, charge no, is no, bad. No, no, sir. No, no, sir. Absolutely not, sir. So okay. Therefore, don't don't say that. Sir. If you find the accusation to be correct, sir. what have you done to extend your arms to reach those culprits? Now, if you say that the statement is made after one year, that means you can, you can. Sir. There could be tutored statements. I don't say that it cannot be. Sir. But these are two different strands in the investigation. Yes, Should you find the accusation made by the women to be bad, to be to be not acceptable, that's one stand. Yes, if you say this, that there was considerable time lag when the matter was reported and when they, they were subjected to such misdemeanor. Yes, Sir, actually, sir, because of that, the statements are vague, sir. And even when, sir, not just that, we tried reaching out to girls of shelter who, who were released from the shelter room at that point in time, sir. And, sir, from time to time, inspections had been carried out at the shelter room. And uh, uh, we have got a report of all those inspection notes also, sir. Satisfy us. We'll have to go through. With the permission of the court, sir? Yes. <laughs> Very good option, sir. Uh, sir, I have personally supervised this case from the very beginning, sir. All the supervision notes were issued by me, sir. Uh, the acquisitions that came, sir, upon the basis of that the FIRs were registered, sir. Then, uh, in order to in enhance the scope of the investigation, and in order to check out whether this thing was taking place on large scale or not, sir, we had identified all the inmates of the aftercare home, sir. A total of 97 of them were identified, some of them whom used to live at the time when both the uh, victims. Yes, yes. So yes. Uh, we specifically requested the Honorable District Judge Patna uh, to provide us with judicial magistrates, sir. He was kind enough. All the needy judicial magistrates were deputed, sir. They went to the aftercare home and in uh, environment of complete neutrality, in the absence of all the police officers or in the absence of the superintendent, and then, all the 164 statements were uh, recorded, sir. Then all the corroborative evidence in the form of FSLs and uh, everything was done. So throughout the investigation, sir, we got only seven adversarial uh, 164 statements against the culprit, sir. Incriminating. Incriminating, sir. Out of that, only uh, five <laughs> alleged uh, physical assault or the bad quality of the food, and only two of the inmates one of them uh, alleged uh, sexual exploitation by of her along with three other girls by four unknown elderly people, sir. And one of them just gave a general statement. She was deaf and mute, sir. We arranged a translator. We uh, requested the subdivisional magistrate. Translator was arranged. And that statement was recorded in English, sir. So uh, when the one of the so we have only two adversarial statements, and that would be 164 statements citing sexual exploitation, sir. So one of the uh, girl, the victim. Adversary is state, I'm, I'm just checking you here. Sir, Adversary sir. means the other side. The, the yes, in, so in that committing, sir. So uh, upon the basis of that statement, sir, uh, she alleged that she, along with three other inmates, she uh, used to be smuggled out of the aftercare home and yes. three to four uh, elderly was, people used to explain. This is a statement of hers that yes. uh, caught our attention as members of the yes, yes. committee. Yes, sir. Uh, but at the same time, sir, because we had taken the statement of all the possible inmates who were present at that point of time, sir, none of the other uh, inmate alleged and corroborated this statement, sir. Then again, sir, uh, we have recorded that in diary also in order to corroborate her allegations. The victim who had given the incriminating uh, statement. We asked her about the identity of the people and if she had any clue about it. She was not able to come with any clue. In fact, one point of time, she even didn't want to corroborate her statement after recording the 164 statement, sir. So even CCTV footage, sir, uh, the forensic examination of the place, it was very And when was the CCTV 
Uh, we just took the See, you could days. take possession of the, I mean, the SIT could take possession of it only after seven, eight days. Yes, sir. When the matter had flashed in the newspapers. Yes, sir. Right? The superintendent had not been removed. Yes, sir. She All was other removed. functionaries were there. Sir. So, seven days, did you, uh, is there any statement in your investigation paper that the CCTV footage was intact, inviolate? It has not been tampered with. It, that is only the, uh, the standard language that we have in 65 Indian Evidence Act. That That's was with respect custody. to the evidence which you collect. Yes, sir. And to be to be to be admissible, you need to follow sir. 65 B. Yes, we sir. are on yes, a different sir. issue altogether. Yes, sir. Right. So we have serious doubts sir. that if you base your information and investigation only on the CCTV footage. Sir. Perhaps you are you are you are being misled. Uh, so the matter of the fact is that, that because it was only seven days of CCTV footage, so the incidents which was alleged, we do not have CCTV footage of that. That's right. That's what I am saying. I mean, you, you can't you can't. Because only seven days back is available. Look here, okay, you can't uh, you can't uh, parry the question of the bench. Sir. You have understood it. You are you are, you have been an investigator. Sir, you are sir. a police officer. Sir. You know about investigation better than the court. Yes. We can only find faults. But uh, don't parry this question. Mm -hmm. Now the first thing. An investigator does is he he takes control of the CCTV, sir. And the, the second thing he does is to see whether whether it has been kept intact or it has been uh, tampered with. Sir. This is how the investigation proceeds in these kinds of cases. Sir. Otherwise, what is the purpose of keeping uh, CCTV, sir? And there is no surveillance then. So you take it, uh, you take control of it after seven days, sir. Not that you had swung into action. Without uh, the without the victims and without the perpetrators of the crime being in know of it, it was all in newspapers. So I think the first step of the SIT would have been the correct step to see whether whether the CCTV footage is intact. It has not been deleted. It has not been tampered with. Is there a certificate? This is not 65B certificate. Yes, no, you have not done. You have not applied your mind to it. You have not applied to your mind. I mean, what we are, I mean, yes, I think sir. both of you are understanding what the question yes, is trying to end. Uh, now, if you say that uh, now this statement is not coming from the victim and this is a delayed statement, so far so good, this, these offenses will keep on happening. I mean, uh, you're not. You're not only an investigator. All of us are citizen, part of the citizenry of this country. I, mean, I get pained. I don't know why. Why you are so stoic about it? Uh, uh, besides, sir, we have completed the mobile forensic, sir, of all the available uh, data that was there, sir. The whole forensic team examined you the whole of the. You have medical test for all that, sir. Now, if something happened, say, 15 days ago, sir, the girl musters up the courage to speak after, say, 30 days, sir. And the matter has been taken cognizance of in the sense, in the loose sense of the term, that you have investigated the matter. Yes. Would you be only looking for medical evidence? Unless, uh, done unless there is immediate, I mean, unless there is some uh, physical onslaught immediately preceding the report. Yes. Sir. You would not be looking for the medical evidence only. Uh, sir, we have uh, uh, taken other scientific evidence on record also, sir. Like the, we had a 400 page forensic examination report of the. Movie. With thousand pages, if it doesn't satisfy yes, the conscience, uh, if it doesn't yes. satisfy the the reader, what worth it is of? And whole of the sir, uh, the forensics, mobile forensics. How many people did you invest? Did you interrogate? Sir, we interrogated all the uh, staff, the How paramedical many staff. Give us the number of heads. Numbers plus the sir, all the uh, security guards also. Sir. Security guards also, sir. 90 even the ones which were taken was taken apart from that. 40 plus uh, 20 plus the guards. And all of them feigned ignorance. They they it, said it's all right. It, 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 we, we didn't see anything. Sir. That's exactly. The, sir, throughout the investigation we had only two uh, 164 interrogating statements. Sir, 164 statements. And, and we, all can't other, we can't even tell you to. I mean, 
manufacture. Nobody can tell you to manufacture evidence. But uh, they are not satisfied. We will see the entire investigation. They are not satisfied. And you have been able to charge it only one. A female. A superintendent. So the one who could have been the person. And who, who, how, did the, how did she facilitate? Sir, according to the statements of the victim, sir, it was said that she is the one who took share of the money of the wrong From whom? That happened. From the uh, uh, from exploiters. Who are those? You sir, we tried to No, sir, we did not get names out of it. Sir. Who will accept this report as correct? Sir? I don't think the Chief Judicial Magistrate of whatever ilk he is, he will accept this report. You may be satisfied. Who can be satisfied that you you have found that this superintendent was facilitating the entry of you know uh, predators who masqueraded as relatives, and then the women were sedated and they were raped. Uh, so we took the help of counselors also, sir. Uh, the professional counselors they were also uh, taken to the scene. So that not even one. Case... This is this is surprising. Not even sir. one. Well, if you are satisfied, we we'll look at the papers and we we'll give you directions. But we are not satisfied at the moment. How could this be? How could this be? Then perhaps your accusation against the superintendent also is bad. So that we have mentioned in the memo of evidence. And not that these people from overseas were, were, were facilitated in entering the home. Must have been people from around. We have uh, submitted no, the complaint. We are not recording anything. Evidence. We will not say that this report is very, very perfunctory, though it may run in 500 or 600 pages, but we are not satisfied. For the, we will record that only one person who has been found uh, worth trying is the superintendent who is a lady. Uh, her role is only that of a facilitator. Think of it. Just think of it and. I mean, the response should come from you. Uh, so we had also examined the bank accounts, all the possible are transactions you, are you, that could happen. Are you going to go for a further investigation? Uh, in case some relevant facts come up, definitely, sir, under 173 and CRPC. You relevant facts are from sir. your reports only. Sir, sir. You are not seeing it with a discerning sir. eye. We might end this litigation by saying that this is the report, but we are not thoroughly dissatisfied. If that suits you, it's all right. But then we'll be we'll be falling short of our duty as judges. Sir, we are ready for any further investigation, sir. We have exhausted. On what lines, sir? Please, if you have if you have exhausted your reserves, sir. Uh, it doesn't speak uh, very good of the policy. Sir. You tell us where have you faltered and uh, which in which direction should you proceed now? You tell us. Sir, just Instead of us ensure. telling you, then we then we completely reject the uh, the veracity of your uh, proper policing and investigation, and we give you our own direction without monitoring the investigation. Uh. Unless you come up yourself, this is, I mean, I'm just repeating it all over again. Sir. Not the first time where, where uh, shelter home inmates have been violated. Yes, sir. Not it's not the first time. And then the shelter home in question located at Patna. There were many interviews when the matter was reported. There was some time lag between uh, action and the report. Yeah. And then you have been able to find one lady superintendent. Now, if you put all your facts within these four parameters, I think nobody, not even your own department, would say that you have done a good job. Sir, we have not got uh, the access to the 164 statement, CRP statements of both the uh, victims. Please In that case, Sir, Please perhaps uh, not as investigators. Well, we're not not as, allowed to. Not only as investigators, and precisely for this reason, you have been you have been nominated as the head. Sir. You have that sensitivity with you yes, sir. for your gender. Yes, sir. It's not done. Sir, in fact, sir, to just to ensure that the victims are not harassed or anything, so we were even ready to take the statement of the 161 statement of the victim wherever she felt comfortable. Sir, and that's, in that's, some, throughout that's the, something which is given. Yes. Sir, can you, can you do anything beyond that? Absolutely.
absolutely not sir and exactly that is why sir said the whole basis said the reason why this case is coming to place i have given you four corners put your work within that corner and assess yourself sir sir we are not going to say anything for the reason that we don't know whether you have uh, uh, made uh, good efforts we don't know if we make that statement that would be bad now you find out yourself where actually you have faltered and this is no way of policing this is no i'm sorry this is no way of investigation and policing in the first instance how did it happen you you have to be the show stopper i'm sorry you are not taking it to a logical conclusion we know our limitations we are not here to monitor your investigation the power to investigate is plenary with you with police all these uh, you know nuances of law we all know therefore mr advocate general is not even objecting to it sir one i am only asking a question repeatedly what gives you this satisfaction that you have done your work sir so one more submission sir don't you go to now i'll tell you what sir you go through the reports sir find out in what way you could make a headway sir and in case you require any further investigation come out with necessary reasons we will permit you we will direct because this is under article 226 and we are we are, we are taken so much to notice of it but it should come from you if we tell you anything you would uh, you would uh, perhaps clamor that the investigation is being monitored no we are not monitoring the investigation With the permission, we can do that. Courts. We can do that, but but we are not doing it for the moment, sir. So one last question, sir. Yes. Sir, in order to get more proof, sir, once we came across the 164 CRPC statements, what, what we did, sir, we we did all the uh, we got all the costing reports, sir, because these inmates are regularly constant. Just a minute. If your intentions, sir, intentions, sir, sir, if your intentions were to sir, investigate sir. it properly and take it to a logical conclusion, you would not have filed charge sheet straight away. Washing day. No, sir. She was arrested, sir. She was arrested. Now, my, this is this. This would require 60 days to file charge. She wouldn't have been in jail for 60 days. Where was the hurry? Where was the hurry? Nobody would have questioned you about 167 too. I mean, we get an impression that you have deliberately pulled the curtain down before time. the scope of further investigation will always be there sir so we have no, further investigation how will you do you must know for for the for the sake of uh, you know following the precedent you would see for the commission from the chief. both the cases have ended in final report yes, uh, one case is still pending sir sir one case went a lack of evidence chief uh, did not uh, corroborate her uh, that's statement. true yes No, no. Sir, lack of evidence, sir. Sir, 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 sir. She didn't corroborate her statement, sir. For how long have you investigated? No, we, we, we. Sir, we, I've been the eye of the case since uh, February, sir. That's right. We, uh, Mr. Advocate General, we are, we are absolutely convinced. If they say that uh, there is no evidence, we can't, uh, we can't put in, we can't fill in the gaps. But we'll report that this is absolutely unsatisfactory. And I will just give you four corners. the dotted lines and let them let uh, any authority put these facts in between that square and say whether whether they have done a good job and i am unhappy let them come out you you read the read the papers again apply your investigators mind don't be under any stress of any kind now a, a guilty is a, a i mean uh, no amount of pressure should uh, deviate you from your duty whoever he is however high he may be you must ye to bekar ki kahani hai na ki kanun ke hath bahut lambe hain aur sab ke upar hai ye to kahani hai ye kahani hai if we can't remedy the wrongs if a person comes to the court what is the use of all these robes likewise what is the use of all your dress and all the paraphernalia and all the hierarchy that you are working in if you can't investigate a simple case ko espionage ka to case hai nahi hai bahut logon se to puchna to hai nahi isko not say in fact uh, while interacting with them uh 
Let them, sir, uh, the Mr. Advocate General, let them come on the next day and tell this court that they have again gone through the investigation because nothing more can be done. Then we shall apply our mind. Let you make a statement that this is all, nothing beyond. This was the end. <coughs> make that statement, then we, we find out where would you, how, how would you end. That's not that. Have you get hold of all the 164 statements? Question them again. In fact, Lords, uh, I think this is my because two of only two of the inmates made that in their statement under 164 uh, about the complicity of the superintendent. I think that is the solitary evidence that is against that woman. But it was required to be investigated. Anybody saying anything would not do. No. But then perhaps if that was a wrong statement, that was uh, that was a knee-jerk reaction of a woman yes. who perhaps was not yeah. very well there. On that, but I can understand that no. this, these two inmates were not given good good things to eat. They were unhappy. They were not allowed to go out by the superintendent. They might have that knee-jerk reaction against the superintendent. Well, she is she is bad. No. Now this happens. Lord, but then why did you accept yeah. that accusation? Yeah. What has happened, my lord, is just in fine. Lots of those two inmates made the, made the complaints against the lady uh, with respect to the sex, facilitating the sexual harassment as well as with respect to the qualities of food channel. Now, at ASP, Lord said, uh, those one among those two said that they all together three other inmates were all those they interrogated those three those three completely denied so far this bad food and this uh, lot that was found to be corroborative and therefore they have uh, recommended for action to but the department see the reports in the meantime you also go through the papers and find out department yes, about that food quality and uh, something hanky panky between the contractor. Take it into account yeah. that this could have been the reason for them to complain yeah. and exaggeration. But then, not this way. Yes, what do you have to say? They are more, further more than these. Even the guards are saying that uh, uh, visitors used to come because they were accused guests. They never used to make the interest. The, those are there in the case diary, the police report. That are well, uh, all the clues your Lordship is saying is almost is here but it has to be uh, the scope has to be widened uh, now we are giving you one week time please sit over the report tell us honestly that uh, you can't do any further we will close the chapter we will record our dissatisfaction we will close the chapter if that satisfies you if that satisfies you about your uh, I mean, uh, about your responsibility as a police officer go ahead go ahead we will do what we can. Without uh, without putting you in any trouble, we will do what we can. We have to rise early today, so we close for today. Give us two copies of the entire police papers. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Yes. <coughs> Hand it over to the court master. We will, because two of us will go through it. Let us do some work. Pursuant to the orders, Pursuant to the orders passed, pursuant to the order dated 21-11-2002, the Senior Superintendent of Police Patna and ASP Sachiwale, name, Kamya Mishra, and Ms. Kamya Mishra, ASP Sachiwale, who has headed the team of investigators in this case, are present with police papers. We don't write that we are dissatisfied today. No, right now. Right now we are not. Uh, Police papers. We need to examine the police papers before accepting the end report that no clue could be found about anybody except the superintendent of the aftercare home who has been shown as a facilitator in the final analysis. This court has also asked 
this court has interacted with the police officers above named and has asked them to again examine the police papers in order to find some headway in the investigation so that so that 